I'm Ishita Biswas and you're watching Ecstatic Talkies. So are you wondering where we stand right now to finding a potential vaccine for COVID-19? The COVID-19 pandemic is one of the greatest challenges modern world has ever faced. The race is on to find a vaccine to stop this pandemic along with various countries doing researches on different vaccines that might bring the suffering to an end. So in this video, we are going to give you the key updates on which country stands where to finding a potential vaccine. Along with that, all the necessary information you need to know about vaccine and also how the COVID-19 vaccine will impact the world in your future. So keep on watching. What is a vaccine? It is a preparation of live attenuated or killed or a part of microorganism which has preserved antigenicity but lost its virulence, which when administered in an individual can produce the specific antibodies for future protection from the disease. How vaccines work? When a vaccine is administered, it triggers an immune response which is recognized by the memory T cells and antibodies are produced against the specific disease for a long time protection against it. The herd immunity. The vaccinated or natural infection survivors produce antibodies which hamper the transmission cycle of the specific disease spread, thus indirectly protecting others who are not vaccinated. How is vaccine prepared? Vaccine is prepared in five steps. Let's discuss it briefly. The five stages of vaccine development and the average time required in each stage. Stage one is research and discovery. The process takes about two to five years, but in case of COVID-19, it has been pretty quick. Stage two is preclinical. In this stage, the vaccine is tested on animals and plants. The scientists check whether the vaccine is producing an immune response in the animal or plant body. Stage three is clinical trials. This is the most critical stage where vaccines are tested on humans. The stage has three sub-stages or phases and alone can take around seven years or more depending on the vaccine we are working with. The vaccine is firstly injected to a small group of people, gradually moving on to a large number of population. Phase 1 clinical trials mainly evaluate the safety and phase 2 clinical trials evaluate the safety of the vaccine as well as the immunization procedures. Phase 3 clinical trials evaluate the safety and the efficacy of the vaccine in a larger population. Moving on to stage 4, which is regulatory review, where the vaccine candidates are reviewed in order to check that people are doing well. And finally, stage 5 is manufacturing and quality control. After successful human trials, the vaccine manufacturing takes place. According to World Health Organization, more than 150 countries engaged in COVID-19 vaccine global access facility. Now let's see which country stands where in this COVID-19 vaccine race. Number 1. United States U.S. biotech firms named Moderna could produce antibodies against the coronavirus in the initial safety trials. The vaccine has been prepared on RNA-based platform and is called mRNA-1273. There are multiple platforms based on which vaccines can be developed. Among those, the platforms which have the greatest potential for speed are DNA and RNA-based platforms followed by those for developing recombinant subunit vaccines. There are no approved RNA vaccines till date, but vaccine mRNA-1273 has been approved to enter the third phase of clinical trials. After carrying out a successful phase 2 study, Moderna launched a phase 3 trial on July 27. The final trial will enroll 30,000 healthy people at about 90 sites in the United States. 
moving on to number 2 china the vaccine ad5 ncov developed by cancino biologics is based on non replicating virus became the first vaccine in china to move into human testing in march but is lagging behind other potential vaccines in terms of trial progress also Two experimental vaccines developed by Sinovac Biotech and a unit of China National Pharmaceutical Group Sinopharm has already been approved for phase 3 clinical trials. Also, China is collaborating with United Arab Emirates for carrying forward overseas human trials. Number 3 is United Kingdom. According to reports published in the Lancet Medical Journal, COVID-19 vaccine AZD1222 based on non-replicating virus showed strong immune responses in all participants in phase 1 and 2 trial. The vaccine developed by Oxford University and Imperial College is in the third stage of human trials. In the second stage, 105 people were administered. The stage 3 trial is expected to cover 6,000 people. Moving on to number 4, that is Russia. The vaccine developed by Gamalia Institute has completed the clinical trials successfully and they are preparing for a mass vaccination campaign against the novel coronavirus from around October this year. However, no further information has been declared about its commercial production. Number 5 is Germany. BNT162 is mRNA-based vaccine program against SARS-CoV-2 developed by Pfizer and BioNTech. They have announced positive T-cell response in human trials in Phase 1 vaccine study and has reached the second stage of COVID-19 vaccine development. Number 6. Australia Vaccine COVAX-19 developed by company Vaccine and researchers at Flinders University and various other companies in Australia has started its Phase 1 clinical trial for developing its COVID-19 vaccine candidate. Finally, number 7, India. There are several companies working together to find out the potential vaccine. Two indigenous vaccines which have started phase 1 and 2 clinical trials are number 1, Covaxin developed by Hyderabad-based Bharat Biotech International Limited, BBIL, in collaboration with ICMR and NIV Pune. The vaccine makes use of an inactive version of a virus. Number 2 is Zykov D, developed by Ahmedabad based company Zydus Kadila. The vaccine is based on DNA recombinant technology. Moving on to the most important part that is the SII collaboration. The Serum Institute of India, the largest vaccine maker in the world, has partnered with British Swedish pharma company AstraZeneca for manufacturing the University of Oxford vaccine candidate for COVID-19 once it is ready. This collaboration wants to mass produce the vaccine once the company gets required licensing from medical boards. AstraZeneca is planning to start phase 3 human trials of its vaccine in India, hopefully around August. According to previous trials, this vaccine has been found to be safe and effective till now. If phase 3 clinical trial is successful, then the vaccine is expected to be made available for the masses very soon and likely to be launched in end of 2020 most probably distributed in 2021. India's manufacturing capabilities has a vital role to play during this scenario. Moving on to pricing of the vaccine. The Serum Institute of India is planning to produce around 60 million doses of the vaccine this year. The price is approximately INR 1000 per dose in India. However, in most countries, governments will bear the cost of the vaccine. 
how the COVID-19 vaccine will impact our lives. The COVID-19 vaccine may become a blessing in managing the deadly disease that has infected over 1.5 crore people across the world. But it will come with its own consequences as well. The vaccine would enable us to start a fresh life once again, but precautionary measures against COVID-19 will have to be followed till immunization is guaranteed. So basically, the whole world is looking forward to it. It's like a hope lingering within us, a hope to see a healthy, happy, fear-free world once again. Now, who will take the lead in COVID-19 vaccine race? Nobody knows. Only time will reveal that. So thank you so much for tuning in in today's episode. Stay safe, stay healthy and we'll see you soon. If you have still not subscribed to our channel, come on, hit that red button below, tap the bell icon in order to get notified whenever we post a new video. Also like and share with your friends. That was all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.